Welcome to Peaches Teaches. Hi, welcome back to Peaches Teaches, the show where I, Peaches and Cream, teach everyone tuning in each episode how to do just about anything. Entertaining is the field of work that I want to do. I want to work in entertainment, no matter what that may be. But I want to do it as a drag queen. Um, with all the bars being shut down, there's no way for me to go out to perform to make them coin. Um, so that is why I created the Venmo, to not only put it towards the channel, but for myself, because performing and entertainment is what I want to do. And I would much, it's the bow already, I would much rather do it that way, you know? Um, because, honey, these bars are being opened, and we're about to see the population sliced in half again. Um, that's all I'm gonna speak on this. Y'all canceled all the fucking summer, but you're opening up places for it doesn't make sense so then people will only have money to go to bars and restaurants and that's the only places people will be going because everything else got canceled like all the concerts shows prides etc so it doesn't make sense but anyways let's get into our dish today because honey we ain't got time talking for that bullshit because i've seen too much of it this episode is part five of five the last part of our cultural cuisine experience. I'm not gonna go on and on like I usually do. And today I am representing the flag of Wales, which is a green and white field with a red dragon, so I just did a bow. This bow is gonna be flat, so just bask in its glory now, because it's gonna be all messed up probably here in a second. <laughs> today we are making Welsh rarebit which sounds like Welsh rabbit and is what it used to be called, but there's absolutely no rabbit in it whatsoever. So I think that's why they like switched the name to now what it is. And it's really like an open-faced grilled cheese, which I know doesn't sound like much, but honey, once you find out what's in here and once you find out what's in, um, in it, I don't know what I was saying because I got distracted by the fact that my wig is like snatching me back further than like, it's making my face uneven. I mean, it already is, but... Okay, <laughs> today we are making Welsh rarebit, which is an open-faced grilled cheese. But honey, if you saw these pictures and you see these ingredients, you will realize this is gonna be a good-ass sandwich. This is just gonna bug me the whole time. It, it looks like I'm like, what's going on? Like, it wasn't like this before I put the wig on. But yes, I really enjoyed doing this five-part series within a series, and I'm definitely gonna do it again with more dishes. I just had fun doing it, and I really have fun when I do cook, even though it is a pain in the ass a lot of the time. So yeah, let's read off the ingredients for our rare bit. Bask in its glory, I'm telling y'all. Just be happy with it now, okay? It's Photoshopped anyway. <laughs> That's like literally an inside joke with myself, so I don't even know why I said that. Um, <laughs> people are always saying that this bow is photoshopped if I wear it. Um, not everybody, one specific person. Whole grain bread sliced thick, butter, dark beer, all-purpose flour, mustard powder or sauce, Worcestershire, and an 8-ounce cube of white cheddar cheese that you're going to grate, which is a cup. So this makes me super kella, fragilistic, extra super nervous, but put your stove on broil, cause you have to broil it. You can toast your bread by broiling it, but I'm going to use the toaster because you could do that as well. So you get four slices of your 100% whole grain wheat bread and place it into your toaster. And toast it. Our bread is toasted on both sides. Now you want your beer to be room temperature, so I poured it in a Tupperware ahead of time. And I'm going to taste this on camera for the first time. And I don't lie like some reaction videos. This is really my first time trying this. My mom took a sip before work. Oh, oh. oh I could just take it. Or will. Oh yeah, I knew I was gonna like it the minute that I read if you don't like normal beer, beer. If you don't like normal beer, you'll like dark beer. Um, if you don't like normal beer, that you might like dark beer. And I like it. I 
think it's because it's more beer than water. Tea. No. Beer. Real talk. Straight talk. I'm gonna keep this out and drink it the rest of the video. It's five o'clock here, bitch. I could show you the thing right now, but I'm not messing with the camera. Good old Scooby. Um, I wanted to get this plate so you guys can see what I'm doing. I said it was five o'clock somewhere, and I said I wasn't gonna show the camera, but I have to fix the camera, so. Okay, so I adjusted the lighting some, the camera some, so you could see me in the stove more, hopefully. So I hope this lighting is good. I turned this off because you could kind of like see the glare from it. It looks. Yeah. Um, I don't want y'all to be staring at a glowing orb, so I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to open up my cube of cheese. So I'm going to cut it in half so it's easier to grate. And just grate your cheek. Ow, my knuckle. Just scrape your knuckle bow. They sound the same. Um, scrape. I mean, grate your cheese gradually. And we are going to check it and see if it's a cup. So far, I have half a cup. So we have our cup of braided white cheddar cheese. So you get two tablespoons of butter. Two tablespoons. And you're going to add that to a saucepan. I'm putting on a low warm heat to just melt it. You can cut it up more if you'd like. So just keep on melting your butter, sis. So now that our butter is sizzling, you're going to add two tablespoons of flour. We are going to slowly pour in our room temperature dark ale. Just enough so as it's touching the pan, it's immediately getting absorbed into the mixture. Now you're going to go get your mustard and your Worcester sauce. Worcester sauce. I should have got that out earlier. A teaspoon of Worcestershire. I'm so scared I'm gonna burn it. Okay. A teaspoon of mustard. Now you're going to get a spatula. Remove your whisk, turn it very low, add your cheese, and then use a spatula to stir it until it's smooth. Okay, so once your mixture is smooth and creamy, like so, you are going to remove it from the heat. Now, I would have only prepared, like toast is toast, it could stay toasted, but I would have only prepared one to two slices because I remembered you're supposed to 
um, not pre-make these and save them. You're supposed to save the sauce. So I'm going to make one or two now, and then I'm going to save some sauce to make my mom one later when she gets off so it can be nice and fresh for her. So I'm going to get a cookie tray. Get two slices of bread because I think I want two. <laughs> and I'm going to put it away. I'm going to place some right on top there. And smooth it out. I need the spatula. Damn, the spatula. Use a spatula. There we go. This is our Welsh rare bit before we put it in the oven. Now remember, your oven should be on broiler. I did say at the beginning. So you're going to place this in your oven on broiler. <laughs> Honey, that oven's on broiler, let me tell you that. Wow. And then, we're just gonna hang out a bit. Chit chat, you know. I'm gonna be right here because this shit is not gonna burn. Did y'all hear the cookie pan buckle? I am going to put the rest away though while we're waiting. I like this because you can make as much as you want and you just put it in the fridge when you're done using it. And when you're done using it, you just take it out of the fridge, put it on top of a toasted piece of whole grain bread and put it in the oven on in the broiler until the top is bubbly and done. It's actually really nice and it's actually a really convenient grilled cheese because if you really wanted to, you could put two pieces of bread on. Good Lord. Check the bottoms of our Welsh rarebit, and they are perfectly toasted, not a burn on the bottom. I think the top stayed in one to two seconds too long because you saw what happened. Um, I was literally shaking, I was so petrified. The last thing I want to happen when I look like this is for the alarm to go off, you know what I'm saying? And it was going like for like an unusually long amount of time. <laughs> Comment down below which piece of Welsh rare bit you think is the most appetizing looking. The one on the right with just one single bubble or the one on the left with the very toasted edges and like the toasty bubbles on top. Um, I'm going, whoops, I'm going to try the one on camera. Um, that looks the best to me. Um, you know, I'm going to try both. Just cause. This is pretty much my dinner. Here you go. This has been our trusty plate the whole time. I'm taking my beer with me. Rocky, you have to scoot. Come here, big boy, just for a little bit. Oof. Look how big he is. Peaches teaches is done. Peaches teaches is done, okay? I'm allowed to touch my cat. I'm allowed to touch my hair and everything. Okay? I'm not in the kitchen. I know what you're thinking. Okay, let's try our Welsh dish. Here we have it. 
Thumbnail, thumbnail. Dry queens do that. Or when they're modeling, they're like, like they see ghost dick or something. Like a big old ghost pee. Like, oh. <laughs> okay, let's try this because I keep saying that. Okay. process it while I ate it. It's so good. Like, <laughs> it smells nothing like what it tastes like. And both are amazing. Um, if I would have just taken them out a minute and 16 seconds sooner, they would be perfect. The cheese got a touch dry, a touch dry. But that being said, like, I would, I would love to know how much cheese there would be on this if the bread didn't, like, if there was that one minute and a half that I fucked up. What was I doing in that minute and a half? I, it doesn't even matter, because it came out really delicious. Mm. Damn. I have a feeling if I didn't cook it a little extra toasted, I don't think I would be able to hold it like this. There's some, that's some good goopy cheese on there. I would have done more beer because you don't even taste it. And it gets, the alcohol viscosity gets cooked out anyways. Messy as fuck eating like a pig, but bitch, if you would try it and not just take my word, you would realize it's really fucking good. Um, <laughs> that was our Welsh dish. I give that five out of five peaches. It is really easy to make and um, better than an actual grilled cheese because you only have one piece of bread to get in your way of all that delicious cheese. And like I said, a minute and a half to two minutes sooner it would have looked like a pizza, a cheese pizza, and it would have been extra cheesy, but it was already really cheesy, so, like, I can't wait to heat up some more of that. Um, I give this five out of five peaches, if I didn't already mention that, which I think I did. I knew this was gonna happen, so I prepared. Um, remember when I said I was gonna make my mama some when she got off work? Well, this is hers, and bitch, it came out fucking gorgeous looking. So, I just wanted to get it on camera, too. Try talking with the accent. What? Try talking with the accent. Wow, well, look how golden it is. <laughs> yeah, okay, no, no, no. <laughs> Stop putting ketchup on. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Just um, talk about it in your normal voice. It's very golden looking. Oh, it looks cheesy. We don't want any nail polish. That's Christmas. Mmm. Doesn't look like there's that much cheese on there, but there is. Really good. How many peaches? You have five peaches. <laughs> Do you think it's better than a grilled cheese? Yeah, it's probably less fattening because you got less bread. True, true. Yeah. Do you think Maria would let you eat this on your diet? Fuck no. <laughs> Don't let her see this. <laughs> Maria, I'm really not eating this. <laughs> if you want to help me and my channel grow, you could go down to my Venmo and tip me. 
because entertainment is the field I want to work in and the job I want to do and I can't do it in the bars right now um, and it is not a requirement and if you do I'll give you a shout out on my channel for hate for helping me out because I really really do appreciate it and all of you guys watching at home um, who enjoy the show so thank you so much for watching truly and uh, that was the end of our series within a series next week is it next week y'all can find out what we're gonna be doing so thanks for tuning in I hope <laughs> there's that brown ale I hope you all enjoyed yourself learned something new and want to come back next week for another episode feel free to leave me any suggestions down below in the comments like comment and subscribe I have been forgetting to say that because it sounds so like forced to me but you should do it thanks bye